It seemed to be related to the nice sex, but it was different. And what was different about rough sex? It was very strange. Um, it was very dark. Um, he turned off the lights. He put candles around the bed and on my nightstand and on my dressers, and he would light them and he would put the candles in cups. Um, you know, the cups that he would bring from the kitchen or different plates that were in my bedroom. And it would be very dark and it would be very quiet. And he would do these things to me. And was that when he was doing things with uh, tax and such? Have you told us already about some of the things he would do? Yes. Mr. Menendez, before this set of episodes called Rough Sex began, did your father announce to you something about pain training? Yes, he did. And could you tell us about that? He told me that I was the biggest sissy and the biggest coward he had ever seen in his entire life and that he was ashamed to have me as a son because I couldn't take the pain and I couldn't be brave um, from what he had seen. What was he referring to? Do you know? He was referring to a shot I got in the doctor's office um, when, uh, when I was in this doctor's office and he was there. The doctor had pulled out this needle and I was real calm and I was real relaxed until he stuck it in me and I was screaming and crying and, and really crying out um, to the point where I had to go out the back door uh, of the office. And uh, Why did you have to go out the back door of the office? Because I was embarrassed, but he was so embarrassed that he could not leave and go into a group of people who were in the doctor's um, office waiting room. Who's he? Who was embarrassed? My father. Okay. So you were crying and he didn't want to walk you through the waiting room because you were crying? No, he didn't want to walk through the waiting room because I had been screaming in the doctor's office. Okay, were you still screaming? No. He just didn't want anybody to know who was the screaming kid? Yes. Okay. And after this, he made this announcement to you about your being sissy and coward? Yes. And, and he, what did he tell you he was going to do about that, if anything? He told me that he was going to train me how not to, not to feel pain, not to have to uh, feel the hurt of the pain, and that he was going to eliminate that from my uh, senses, my feelings. And how uh, did he then demonstrate to you how he was going to do that? He did that. Would you back up from the mic a little bit? Thank you. And would you tell us, how did he do that? He would stick things in me as he was giving me oral sex, or at times he would just sit on the bed with his legs up, uh, um, spread, and with his back to the, to the back of the bed, and he would have me give him oral, me oral sex, and he would stick the needles or the tacks into my thighs uh, as he was doing this. Did he also use a knife at any time during, and, and these were the incidents that you've come to call rough sex? Yes. And did he also use a knife at any time? Yes, he would. Uh, he had this wooden kitchen knife that he would use to just, he wouldn't be doing anything with sex at that point though. He would just have me sit on the back of the bed. He would put a towel under my legs and he would just cut my, my thighs with the knife. And have you, do you have a, a scar that you, is still visible on your thigh from what he, when he did that? Yes. Which thigh is it? My left thigh. And how long is this? It's not really my thigh. It's my right on the side of my knee. On the side of your knee? Yeah, right at the bottom of my thigh. And how long is this scar? It's about that long. And you recall that that's something that was done during one of these episodes? Yes. Was there something, Mr. Menendez, that you called the mirror? Yes. And what was the mirror? 